Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Conscious Magic Episode 2. This is from Rand Pink and Andrew Gerard. All right, so what is Conscious Magic Episode 2? Uh, this is a DVD, DVD with four four mentalism effects uh two from Rand pink and two from andrew gerard uh and i think they're really great for like walk around street magic and some of them take very little preparation you want to see the trailer this is it i don't think there's a magician alive that hasn't been asked at one point if you're so magic, why haven't you won the lotto yet? The idea of the lotto routines or picking winning lotto numbers has been played with by many people, myself included. Everything from electronic devices, special pads and gimmicks and whatnot. And Rand has a routine that is the only routine now that I do. I love it. I've watched him develop it over the years. I've contributed to myself. It involves no gimmicks. It involves just a real lotto ticket. You walk up to a store right now, buy a lotto ticket, buy some Powerball steps, fill them out, and predict the lotto numbers is incredible. Uh, Are you gonna play those numbers? Yes! When I leave. But he looks like a unicorn. That's insane. <laughs> How did you do that? And we're gonna win it together, and we're gonna continue this. When you see me at the lottery office collecting my money, I want you to be there. It's simple, you're gonna do it right away. Uh, I know you're gonna love this. This is Get Lucky. When you think of the ambitious card routine, we think of a multi-phase effect where a signed card goes from the middle of the pack to the top. But what Andrew's done is he flipped the script. He's created an effect where the spectator finds a better version of themselves. And that's why we call this becoming. The spectator pushes the card flush into the pack, places the cards in their hands like this. Now Andrew guides them through a journey of self-discovery. And after a few moments, they open their hands to reveal that their signed card is at the top of the pack. <laughs> It feels great, it feels like like you're opening something that you have no idea about. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. I feel slightly strange. Thanks so much. You know, it's a hard city, like you said. There's a lot of people and it's really easy to get kind of lost in it all. This is amazing. I wish I could explain it. I can't. <laughs> it's magic. It's literal magic. <laughs> Andrew's amazing. Um, Kind of at a loss for words right now. <laughs> Here's radio. This is a great effect. It is uh, slightly out of the genre of magic, more into mentalism or mind reading. Anytime you can get inside somebody's mind or share a thought with them, it's the reactions are always amazing, right? We know this, but when you can share a song that somebody's singing in their mind, it's even better. So Rand's routine, uh, he asks somebody to think of a song, any song at all. They write it down on a card and they hold it in their hand. Rand gets them to touch his temples and they feel a thought leave Rand's mind and into theirs and they guess one note of a major scale which is really really cool so Rand continues to do this as uh, that, that song is shared the same way fingers to the temples they sing it in their mind and immediately Rand can sing it out loud uh, or you can go into their phone if you don't know the song and, and play it on you know Spotify or iTunes or whatever but people always freak out. It's like this moment where they're thinking in their mind, there's no possible way he could know what song I'm singing in my head, but he does. And this is radio, check it out. Every time you surprise me. <laughs> Every time you hear me. With most 50-50 effects, they only really matter when you put something of value on the line. Well, Andrew's 50-50, he puts $100 on the line and pretty much wagers whether the spectator's gonna pick up the 100 with their left or the right hand, and he always gets it right. This is the most amazing, impromptu, anytime, anywhere. Borrow some paper, some pens, a bill, you're good. This is Andrew's 50-50. Sure. Uh, yeah, he's oh, yeah. getting the bill, thanks. No, I don't think it is 50-50. I think there's a couple of variables that could be in there, but I just decided to stick to my guns. I'm like, I'm going left, I'm not changing my mind because I will not be influenced by whatever it is you're doing. But I, apparently I was anyway.
All right, so that was Conscious Magic, episode two. Uh, you might remember that I did the review also for the first volume, uh, the special edition, and I'll put the link uh, for that in the description below. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? Ladies and gentlemen, what is in the box? It's a DVD. DVD, it's an hour and 19 minutes long. Is it what I thought? It is what I thought. It's a DVD on mentalism. <laughs> And actually, I was more pleasantly surprised. Uh, the first one, uh, it was I, it was okay, I liked it. I just felt like some of the effects on it were similar, not exactly, just similar to other effects that I'd learned. But this one felt way more original and I just really loved the content. All right, so what's taught on the DVD? Uh, you're gonna get a trick called Get Lucky. Uh, get Lucky is something from Rand Pink and it's a powerful routine that uses no gimmicks. All you're gonna use is actual lottery tickets and lottery stubs. You can literally just go to the store, buy them at your local uh, outlet, and you're ready to go for some really cool, seemingly impromptu uh, prediction effects. Then there's another effect on here called Becoming. Uh, Becoming is almost like uh, the kicker ending to an ambitious car routine, but it really is kind of a routine all unto its own. Uh, the spectator can literally push their card flush into the deck, and then you kind of do uh, a self-reading, a uh, cold reading on them, and uh, while that's happening, their selected card is rising to the top of the deck. The third trick on here is called radio. Uh, radio is where you can actually go up to someone on the street and ask them to write down their favorite song or favorite tune, and uh, they can write it down on a card, and then uh, while they hold on to it, you're able to discern it and then immediately start singing it. It's pretty cool. The last trick on here is called 50-50, and it's probably my favorite on the entire thing, not only because it's super simple, but because I think it just packs a big punch. Uh, you put money down on the table, okay? You put money down on the table, and then you literally, beforehand, you predict which hand they're gonna use to pick up the money, and you're right every single time. All right, so positives. What are the positives to Conscious Magic Episode 2? Hey, Ran and Andrew have a strong sophomore hit on their hands. Four gripping mentalism effects, all real world ready with very little prep. Now, normally I would talk about negatives and talk about is it worth your money. I'm gonna take those two things and put them together. Okay, I'm gonna whit, whit, whop, put them together, okay? Because uh, I kind of think they just go together on this one. Uh, it's $35, okay? $35 and it's a DVD. Uh, and like I said, it's an hour and 19 minutes long and you're getting four effects. So four effects uh, broken down over an hour and 19 minutes long is a good enough time to learn, but it's not a ton of time. I mean, in an hour and 19 minutes, you can either stick in more tricks, I guess, but $35 on top of that, there's just a little bit, and it, it, it always happens like this with me mentalism for me, okay? It always happens like this, because with mentalism, you're almost buying an idea. Right? You buy an idea because a lot of mentalism is propless or very minimal props. You know, you, you, I think some of us are, are, we're trained to think that if we spend $35, we're gonna get something, you know, like a gimmick or a gaff or a string or a rope or a mirror or something, right? But it's $35 for four tricks. And like I said, they're good tricks. They are good tricks. So I think you just need to kind of cut that barrier in your mind that says you're paying for something. You have to accept that you're paying for knowledge. You're paying for the uh, idea of the trick. You're paying for Ren and Andrew to share things that are personal to them, things that they've created, and hoping that you come out the ice other side and you feel like, okay, that was worth my money. And so you, you have to decide that. This is kind of a tough one for me to say, is it worth your money, okay? Because you either need to be in the mentalism, especially walk around strolling mentalism, where you walk up to people that you don't know. There's a lot of tricks out there, like card magic and whatnot, that you can do on your friends and family and neighbors, and it, and it works. But especially mentalism like this, it works so much better off people you just meet or people that you know casually. And so uh, $35 means it's probably gonna be something that you're, you're gonna invest in, that this is gonna be your walk around, your career, your life. And so definitely watch some trailers, read the descriptions of these tricks, and just decide for yourself if you think uh, this is worth it to you. Who would like this? Like I said, people who uh, are doing strolling mentalism, people that are walking around, meeting new people, 
people, people uh, this could be restaurant, corporate, you know, whatnot, walk around. So uh, I think people that are more heavily into mentalism than maybe just the casual observer, uh, I think would be drawn towards this more. All right, so that was Conscious Magic, episode two, Andrew Gerard ran pink. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this effect so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.